In this video, I'm going to show you the best and highest quality export settings for Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. So let's get into it. Hey there, I'm Mark Brown from Editors Keys and welcome to the video. So we tend to do this video every year and this is the 2022 version. We just wanna make sure when you're exporting your videos, you're exporting them with the highest quality possible, especially for online streaming services like YouTube. Now, before we jump in, we have just launched some brand new keyboard covers for Premiere Pro for the 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pro. So if you wanna check them out, check a link out in the description below. But anyway, let's get into it. Now, I'm just gonna jump straight to the end and say this is our final edit done. So what I'm going to do is mark an in point at the start of the edit by moving my playhead to the start, then clicking the letter I. Then I'm going to move my playhead to the end of the edit and mark my out point by tapping the letter O. Now, we're gonna make sure it's all rendered by going up to sequence and clicking render in to out. When that's done, press Command plus M to get your export settings up. Or you can go over to File, Export, and then Media. So the first thing we wanna do is keep this to H.264. Then below, ignore this preset because this will change throughout. We'll make what we've done into a preset. So you can use it every time you export and save a ton of time. Now name it anything you would like. I suggest you save it on a hard drive rather than your desktop to get the quickest out of your computer or your Mac. Now, if you wanna see a video on external hard drives that we've done, click up here if you wanna see that video. Now, check the export video and export audio are both ticked. Next, go into your basic video settings, check that your width and height are correct. Now in this case, the project is 4K, so it does look correct to me, and it should always be right. But if for some reason it isn't, just untick the box and you can change it to whatever you like. Now go down and check if your frame rate is correct. We shoot in 25 frames per second, so this is right for our region here in the UK. Again, you can untick the box and change it. Field order should be set at progressive, aspect let's keep that at square pixels 1.0 and now make sure render is set at maximum depth make sure that's ticked now let's go to encoding settings if you have a computer that can handle hardware encoding or if you have a good graphics card then make sure the performance is on hardware encoding and that will make the export much much faster now if you don't you can still use software encoding but this will be a lot slower now, make sure your profile is on high and your level is on 5.2. Now, we're gonna scroll down to the bitrate settings and this will determine the quality and the overall size of the video. And what we do here at Editor's Keys is we select the CBR bitrate encoding and this stands for constant bitrate and change this to between 75 to 90 depending on how big you want the file size but anywhere between this number will give it a good quality. And now, as you can see, the estimated file size has increased. And if you pull it down, it will decrease it. And of course, if you drag it higher than 90, it will increase it and so on. So I'll leave it on at 90 to get almost the best quality for YouTube and save as much of the high quality video as we can after YouTube's compression. Now, make sure use maximum render quality as ticks and that's every setting for your video done. Now, let's jump into the audio tab and just check if all these are the same as you can see here. You won't really have to change anything for audio, so I tend to just leave the defaults on. Now, go up to this icon here to save the preset. I'm going to save it as the highest quality for YouTube. And now you have a preset saved, so you won't have to change each one every time you export. So now we're gonna click Export. And there you go. So there we go. I hope this video has helped you. Let us know if it has in the comments section below. And remember, if you want to see more videos on Premiere, you can click the videos up here in the corners now. Which one are you going to watch? Also, if you've got any Premiere questions, leave those below. And I'll see you in one of these next videos.